the air umbrella, the fire umbrella, and then the water umbrella. In an effort for some reason to use anything but a regular umbrella, I've taken your suggestions to make some of the craziest umbrella ideas. But then I had a comment that had some potential. What if you use a spinning blade to stop the water? Well, you would need a portable power source to spin the blade, which I have here thanks to Jackery. But would it actually work? If you've ever laid on your bed tossing something in the air and seeing if you can miss the ceiling fan blades, you may have noticed that most of the time the fan blades hit the thing falling through. So does that mean that you could actually have an umbrella that's mostly just open air, but when it's spinning it would stop the rain? If you could, how fast would it have to be spinning? Does the speed of the blades actually even matter? For example, there's a certain open area in the circle that the blades carve out. No matter the speed of the fan, there's always the same open area. So wouldn't you have the same chance of hitting a fan blade no matter what the speed is? Well, if the fan blades were two-dimensional, completely flat, and the object you were throwing through it also had no thickness, then the speed of the fan actually wouldn't matter. Since it takes an infinitesimal small amount of time to cross the blades, it doesn't matter how fast the fan is spinning around or how fast you throw the object. You have the same chance of hitting the blades no matter what. But in reality, the fan blades and the object you throw through it have a thickness, so there's some dependence on rotational speed of the fan. So if having zero thickness of the object you're throwing through makes the speed not matter at all, then that would mean that the longer or thicker the object is, the more the speed matters. So throwing a long rod through the fan would be much harder than throwing a coin through the fan, even at the same speed. So the rotational speed of the fan does matter, but we can control that, so that's okay and basically the faster the better. But that means that the speed of the rain and the size of the rain also matters. So how big is rain and how fast does it fall? As you can imagine, there's a large range. But luckily for me in 2009, there was a paper published called Distributions of Raindrop Sizes and Fall Velocities, just what I need. And in this paper, they showed this plot. We can see that the smaller raindrops fall slower than the big ones. So let's take a look at the large end of the raindrop sizes. Let's take a three millimeter size raindrop. It should be falling at around nine meters per second. But enough with the theoretical, let's actually try it and see what happens. Okay, so here's what we're gonna be using as our umbrella. <laughs> Don't get your head too close to this umbrella. <laughs> so let's see if any water can get through this umbrella. To do this, I'm gonna be using my Jackery 1000 Plus solar generator. So thanks to Jackery for sponsoring this video and giving me the perfect power source for my spinning blade umbrella. This is the Jackery Solar Generator 1000 Plus. It's super portable and can be recharged wherever the sun is. It has a capacity of 1264 watt hours and a 2000 watt output. And it has up to five kilowatt hours expandable capacity for outdoors and emergencies. It supports almost any device you can think of. It has long lasting LFP batteries with 4000 charge cycles. I love that it's shock resistant and fire retardant as well. It's whisper quiet and only takes two hours to charge in full sunlight or 1.7 hours plugged in. And you can also use the app to control it. Okay, what's really funny is in prepping for this video as I was assembling my umbrella, the power actually went out in my house and I'm having to use my Jackery generator <laughs> to power all the lights and everything and my tools as I assemble the umbrella over here and get ready for the video. <laughs> So even in prepping for the video to tell you about the generator, I had to use the generator. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So if you're interested in getting your own solar generator, you can click the link in my description, or you can search Jackery 2000 Plus or Jackery 1000 Plus on Google to learn more about the product. Now let's get back to our experiment and try out our umbrella. Introducing the blade umbrella with its patented duct tape design, making it mostly waterproof for a little while, so your chance of electrocution is pretty low at first. Okay, let's get our power source. Okay, let's turn on the rain. Okay, now let's turn on our umbrella. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, okay, this is not working at all. It's hitting it a lot. I can hear it hitting it, but I'm still getting really wet. <laughs> so I think the problem here is that the blades just aren't spinning fast enough. I'm just getting soaked underneath like it's not even there. Okay, let's see what's going on here. 
I'm gonna just drop a dropper above it and see if it can block them. Oh, that got right through. Oh, that got blocked. That went through. A little less than half of them are getting blocked. The problem is that the fan blades only take up a small percentage of the area. Also, the maximum speed for this motor is only around 225 RPM. So we just don't have the speed we need. If I want to make this happen, I need higher RPMs and more blades. But in order to do that, I need to reduce the diameter of the blades a little bit. Holy cow. So I have 5,700 RPM right here. So that's five blades, so I had to divide that number by five, so that's over a thousand RPM. So I have four times the speed on this one, and I also have five blades. So almost the entire circle that these blades sweep out are covered already, even if it weren't spinning. But on top of that, they're spinning around at a thousand RPM. Okay, now let's see how many drops this one can block. The water droplets actually flow away from it. <laughs> Looks like they're moving in slow motion. Okay, this is the area outside of the fan. This is the area under it. So none of them are getting through. Hey, that's looking pretty good. So not one drop made it directly below the fan. Okay, now I've changed my shirt so you can see if I'm getting wet. We're gonna try our new and improved fan that spins much faster. Okay, first plug our umbrella into the Jackery power station. Okay, let's turn it on and see if this works. This one doesn't have as wide a diameter, so I need to get really close under it. Here we go. Okay, it's on. Oh, it buzzed my hair. <laughs> I am staying dry. <laughs> it actually works. So if you come under my umbrella with me, you can see there's no drops hitting the camera here. So I'm actually staying dry under here. <laughs> Look at that. I just need a little bit wider blade. And as I'm standing here, you know what I just realized? This is the air umbrella. I've just recreated the original air umbrella and it actually works. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.